never takes a break, and neither do we. Weather Center, every night at 7 and 10. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel on the banks of the Mississippi here in Chester, Illinois. Tonight, more severe weather, two tornado watches, and another watch for this area extending all the way east along the Ohio River is due out very soon. Plus, Forbes and Cantori covers it all next on Weather Center. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight on Weather Center Live. I'm Crystal Ager. And I'm Kelly Cass. Time now, 7 Eastern, 6 o'clock Central, and severe weather is once again setting its sights on pretty familiar targets, actually. For the second time this week, St. Louis is set to see a pounding. In fact, we have live severe weather team coverage, including expert analysis you will not see anywhere else. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is live in Chester, Illinois, to track the nasty weather. Mark Elliott live in the Digital Media Center with a look at all the eyewitness videos and pictures that are coming in. But let's kick things off with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes and storm tracker Cantori with the very latest on watches and warnings. Guys, here we go again. Yeah, here we go again. This time, though, there's a storm that's rotating as it's heading towards St. Louis, so that could certainly be a big problem. We saw that the other night, too, when it went right over the city. Greg, uh, I wasn't going to have you join me till after, but what the heck? Let's go ahead and fire it up right now. They'll probably take this full anyway, guys, and you can see what we got going on. Uh, again, just an explosion this afternoon of thunderstorms uh, out ahead of the cold front, and what's interesting is usually when you see that happen and the storms line up along the cold front, uh, especially one after the other, it's not a good day for supercells, but you'll notice a lot of spacing between these storms, so they have the chance to kind of uh, develop their own uh, characteristics and that's exactly what we've seen. So a uh, setup certainly for Monday looks uh, looks horrible in through here. That's just stick stick with max five here guys. Again you can see what's going on. Here are the tornado watches. A lot of these going out till 10 o'clock tonight and then covering a huge amount of real estate. Chicago by the way we haven't forgotten about you. You got some action coming your way. Here's the supercell we've been watching. This was the first one that got it all done. Callaway, Gasconade, Montgomery and also Sage County. Watch out around Holt Summit and Tabbots. We've had a fallen cloud reported here. Now we haven't had a tornado yet, but this could tornado at any time. Uh, it, it's got the kind of structure that would uh, lead a lot of us to believe that it's going to do that. We'll get how Forbes is feeling on that in just a moment. Let's take you over to Kentucky here, where Anderson, Franklin, Woodford, uh, and Fayette counties all under a tornado warning at the present time. This storm is heading toward Lexington, and it's produced a wall cloud around Lawrenceburg. So that's a lowering base there underneath the cell. And as you can see, it's heading toward Branson before it gets to Lexington. All right, we take you down into uh, my goodness, where, oh, this is Lexington, this is Kentucky. Okay, down toward Frankfurt, you can see the storm as it is heading uh, toward Lexington. Guys, prepare to take cover in Lexington. This storm has had wall clouds and funnel clouds associated with it, and it certainly could tornado at any time. In Oklahoma, we've got Tree, uh, Creek, Oak Fusky, and also Okmulgee County. Right around Bixby, they've had a funnel cloud and also 2.5-inch or tennis ball size hail in that neck of the woods. All right, let's go to uh, graphics 14 here, and we're going to get into some of these cells, which, as you can see, down through uh, really the I-44 corridor in Oklahoma have uh, begun to rotate. All right, Forbes, which caught your eye? Let's talk about this, this storm, first of all, heading toward Lexington, I believe. Yeah, it's about 20 miles away from Lexington. It looks very good on uh, radar, but some of the rotation seems to be on, aloft. The pattern is very uh, strong, but the surface, uh, the low-level velocity signature, not tremendously strong. It looks, it's a little bit broad. There could be one little tornado right there just to the north of the E in Lawrenceburg. That would be the tornado heading east at about 40 miles per hour. We've seen funnel clouds. We've seen wall clouds with this one. Let's take a look at the storm that's about two hours or so away from the St. Louis area, uh, south and east. It's in central Missouri, heading toward the Shamus area, and then the Herman area. You can see it, too, has a pretty well-defined wall cloud with it. Uh, some uh, rotation, mostly been aloft, funnel clouds and wall clouds with that one. Then the brand new storm, southwest parts of Missouri, uh, heading uh, generally toward the, uh, just south of Manette and toward the Purdy area. It, too, has rotation, the inflow coming in these areas. So these and other supercell thunderstorms uh, with the possibility of large hail and tornadoes. Jim. Yeah, we have five supercells out there with tornado warnings on them, guys. We need to keep an eye on these. Crystal, back to you. Once again, the heartland could get hit hard by storms. Storms so strong, they could produce tornadoes. Meteorologist Mike Seidel was in East St. Louis in Illinois. That was Monday night. Tonight, he's too far from not too far from there Chester Illinois and back to the same area pretty much Mike in one week and another prime spot for some active weather. 
Yeah, three nights later and uh, just down the river on the east bank here on the Illinois side, looking back towards Missouri. And the storms will be coming from this direction, from the south and southwest. The wind is coming right into the camera. So as we go up in height, the winds go from the south to the southwest to the west. So we have that directional shear and the low-level winds from the south. So we have enough change in wind direction with height that we will probably see some more uh, tornado warnings. And we're expecting a tornado watch to include this part of the state, including here in Cape Girardeau, and then the SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, saying they're going to extend that watch into areas where that severe thunderstorm watch is set to expire uh, in the next, uh, well, just expired at the uh, top of the hour. So we've got a lot to watch this evening. Uh, again, the risk of strong winds, uh, possible wind damage and large hail and potentially some tornadoes here in southeast Missouri. Going into the weekend and next week, Crystal, it's going to be heavy rainfall and the uh, threat for flash flooding along those rivers, creeks and streams. Crystal. All right, we will keep an eye on it. Of course, Mike Seidel reporting for us live tonight. Coming up, wildfires are burning from border to border in Texas. Another huge story we're following. We'll show you what is making the situation even worse. And will the severe weather bring some relief to the state? We take you to the Global Forecast Center with a look at next week's forecast for Texas. A lot more to come here on Weather Center tonight. Kids came out, they said, John, can I see the dairy? Can I see how the cow got milked? You should see the eyes of the kids in the barn.